everyone, this is Coach Hulu and I hope you are well. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to combine an old school or two old school exercises to one amazing body weight exercise. And of course you can progress it with um, some accessories and I'm going to show you. So let's start with the basics. You're probably very familiar or have seen a W, a W wall slide, so basically and that has many variations too. It's a great exercise. I call it as like an anti-sitting exercise because it's going to work your posterior chain, basically your lower trap, it's scapular depression, and it pulls you back. If you're like, hey man, I've never seen a W. Well, I'll show you a really brief general description of what a W looks like. So pretend my back's against the wall, my heel, my butt, my mid-back, and my head, the back of my head. I want my elbows to touch the wall, the back of my wrists, the back of my hands, to the best of my ability is very important. So from here, I'm going to inhale and then exhale as I slide up and then inhale as I bring it down into a W. So if I had a back, a wall against me, my elbow, the back of my head, my butt, my mid back, my heels would be touching the wall. So go my, and then I slide up, trying to keep as much contact as I go up and then I pull back down. So of course, if you're right dominant, you're probably going to feel, um, might have it more difficult to have your arms stay on the wall. So that's okay. It's just, it's an idea to have everything touch, but uh, as you do that movement, you will get better. If you have pain, you always stop. So that's our basic W. Um, it kind of looks like a lat pull down. Similar um, principle, but it's not weighted. It's just gravity. So the next thing. I have to smile. You're probably familiar with a single leg hip hinge. And I have a couple of videos on sing single leg hip hinge variation. So here's a hip hinge, right? It's a hip exercise, hip dominant, and the angle of my knee does not change. So what I'm saying is the knee is soft. So it's a very soft angle. So I'll show you again my knee. I have to walk back a little bit. The angle of my knee doesn't change, right there. Ideally, you would have your hips square to the floor. My heel is reaching for that wall, and the crown of my skull is reaching for that. And I'm trying to get parallel. It's a posterior chain exercise. Again, it's going to work your hamstrings. Your other muscles are going to fire and start working along. You're going to enjoy the ride like your inner thigh, your core. Um, it's a fantastic exercise that can complement any routine. So we have that. So let's combine the two. Oh, I was jumping ahead of myself. I was going to get around, grab a tool. So let's add the W and the, the single leg hip hinge. Yeah, maybe it is. So all right, so here's my hip hinge. That's part one. From this position, I have my W. I'm going to inhale as I reach, I'm smiling the roses, and then I exhale and I pull back, three, two, one. So I want a one second forward, and then I exhale, three, two, one, back. At this position, you want to think about pinching your shoulder blades and pulling them down. So if you don't like the word pinching your shoulder blades, then think about putting your shoulder blades down in your back pocket. That's fine. So the idea is like imagine you have an imaginary bar or a broomstick or a PVC pipe. Guess what? I happen to have a PVC pipe. So this is a great movement and workout that you can do at home. So since I have this, it's going to help me to ensure better form. So here it's touching the face of my neck or the shelf of my shoulders, whatever you want to call it. Probably the shelf of your shoulders. Your hand position is going to be what makes you feel most comfortable. That's the most important. If you have pain, you stop. So here's my W. This is very light. It's just a PVC pipe. I suggest maybe a broom. The movement in itself and the number of reps is going to be more than enough. So here I am. Here's my hip hinge. I inhale, and my, my arms go forward, and I exhale, and here's my W. To the shelf of my shoulders. Let's not say the base of your neck. I can correct myself. So that's it. If you don't have a PVC pipe, that's no problem. I would suggest just working on it with the um, just body weight, just the arm movement. Uh, secondly, if you have a broomstick, you can use that so you can do it at home. I guarantee you're going to feel your mid-back. It's going to work your legs, your lower body isometrically while your upper body is working dynamically. So stay tuned. I am going to have other videos that we can do this same movement, the W. So if you're in the gym, you can use a cable cross. But if you're at home, we can use a resistant tube with handles. We would just attach it and then we can pull on it. Uh, I'm not going to give it all away right now. So subscribe and stay active.